Yo, what is up guys? This is Abruma Nari. What? Yes, and we're back here. Viva la resistance! France, 1943, episode 2. And we're getting ready to recapture Italy. Of specific importance, Rome, because we're going to get that level 3 industrial city, and then we're going to start getting some heavies heading out towards... Uh... Probably, most likely Spain. Now sometimes Brazil and uh, the US and Canada have pretty much already taken over a lot of Spain, so we'll just see when we get there. I mean, that Roman general right there is no pushover. You can take up substantial amount of damage. See, if I wouldn't have went to Athens, where I could actually start building field artillery, I'd probably still be stuck in Africa, building the, um, what's the other one? Not field artillery. Uh, unit? No, it's not unit. Platoon artillery? It's something like that. I'd have to look. But I'm not going to right now. Because I'm going to try to rely on my memory as I'm playing. It's going to come to me. Divisional artillery, that's what it is. The level one industrial city crap. Get our, uh, crap train from Istanbul started. Take this over so that when I do finish off Italy on the continent of Europe, they will be finished for good. Uh-oh. Start plugging my phone. Okay, Italy, you are screwed. Ah, oh, we got a German trying to take our... Oh, I guess that's the British city. You know, this is probably going to get confusing for me, because I'm playing Germany and Italy, 43. So I was just thinking right there, like, what the hell happened? That was my city. But then I was like, no, that was when I was Germany. When I'm France, I'm starting out on the other end. It's so confusing. Look, now that we started taking over shit, now the Russians want to come in and start working out. Well, screw you guys, because I'm already there. I'm already taking shit over. I'm not going to frickin' steal shit from me. I will not allow that to happen. 
And Zerg just happens to be in a bad spot. As I'm moving, you know you're there. I'm going to shoot at you. If you were more north uh, and I couldn't reach you as I'm going into Spain, I wouldn't bother with you. Why am I going around this guy? I just need to kill him. That. Why didn't I think of that earlier? Just kill that guy. Alright, still as much shit as I can. It's funny seeing Zurich on there because I just got done watching the episode of South Park where Randy Marsh was taking those huge dumps and they were waiting Kuriks and it was the European fecal... Damn it, I just watched it, I forgot. But it was stationed in Zurich, the headquarters. European fecal standards and measurements or something like that. And also, I just, the one on right before that was the South Park episode, which is the South Park episode. The South Park episode of World of Warcraft, which was one of probably, this is probably my favorite episode of all time. I mean, it was a really good episode, but it's probably, it's close to my heart because I was, so into World of Warcraft for so many years. I kind of look at it like a lost best friend. I think it is kind of like that because, I mean, you reminisce about the good times you had. Oh, the times you spent together, you know, when you were with other people and you were, you know, all having fun. World of Warcraft is like losing a best friend when you just haven't played it for so long because Blizzard ruined it and I haven't played the new one I did I was going to and then I decided you know what it's not a big enough deal to me now that I'm gonna drop 60 bucks on it when when they start having sales on it is probably when I'll buy it But if any of y'all, y'all, no, I'm not from the South, have played uh, the new World of Warcraft, let me know in the comments if it's any good. To me, and I've said this a lot, but I've gained a lot of subscribers, so I'll say it again. My problem with World of Warcraft is too many expansions. They just moved too fast. And none of the expansions were as good as the original or uh, the Outlands. I mean... Northern seemed so rushed, the quests were lame. I mean, there was such good quests in the first two. I mean, you could tell they were so thought out, and they were so chained together, and that was... I mean, it was cool. It was like a... Quests were like a story inside of a story. And they just tried to rush them out, and they started losing subscribers, so they were just like, Hey, let's keep... You know, let's just bum rush all these games out so that we can make as much money as we can before the fad dies off. When all they had to do was just release... You know, like, small updates like they do, small patches, where they add a new land or something. But they couldn't do that. They had to fucking ruin it. And plus, I heard that 
a specific game took a lot of the World of Warcraft uh, gamers away from it, and that is uh, League of Legends. I've never played League of Legends, but I've watched it played. I mean, it looks like a pretty good game. I just really never got around to playing it. But I could see where World of Warcraft players would like it, because it's kind of in that same realm. But anyways, back to France 43. I went on a little bit of a tangent there. Damn, we've almost already made it to the Atlantic coast. This has been a really productive episode. Now look, this is what I meant by the Russians. They come in, I guess our Soviets then, riding my coattails. Because I'm down there and I'm kicking ass. But they've done nothing in the north. Absolutely nothing. Why? Because I'm not there helping out. Bastards. Anyways guys, I'm going to wrap this up. If you're enjoying this content, go ahead and slap the shit out of like and subscribe. And I will see you back here for our next upload. Peace. Bruminati. Out.